Now to your top 10 headlines in just two minutes. Sherry Papini is now out of federal prison several months early. The Northern California mother was convicted in 2022 for faking her own kidnapping so she could go back to her ex-boyfriend. The hoax led to a three-week multi-stage search. She's either in a halfway house or under house arrest until late October. Russian President Vladimir Putin's denying involvement in the plane crash that killed Wagner Group leader Yevgeny Prigozhin, who led a rebellion against the Kremlin in June. U.S. intelligence officials believe the explosion that took the plane down was from a bomb on board, not a missile. A pilot is dead after crashing an F-18 Hornet fighter in Miramar. The plane crashed just before midnight near the runway. Cause is under investigation. Spain's women's soccer head coach says he won't resign after kissing a female player on the lips after winning the World Cup. That player says that kiss was not consensual, and the team says it won't play again if he doesn't step down. President Biden's Lake Tahoe vacation ends tomorrow. He was in South Lake Tahoe today and told reporters that Tahoe is magnificent. Meanwhile, U.S. air defense had to scramble fighter jets today to wave off a plane that entered temporarily restricted airspace near the lake. Uber is raising the minimum age for drivers in California to 25. It's due to the rising cost of commercial auto insurance in the state. The new rule applies only to new drivers. Workers at Kaiser Permanente hospitals in seven states, including California and the District of Columbia, will start voting Saturday on a strike that could start in October. Voting runs through September 13th. The Wall Street Journal reports Rite Aid is preparing to file for Chapter 11 bankruptcy and will use that to cover billions of dollars in debt and legal claims it oversupplies prescription painkillers. Rite Aid has not reached a settlement to resolve opioid liabilities. President Biden says he will request more money from Congress to develop another new COVID-19 vaccine. This is scientists track new waves and hospitalizations rise, though not like during the pandemic. The CDC says West Nile virus is now the leading cause of mosquito-borne disease in the country. Two people died recently in our area from West Nile, one in Sacramento County and one in Yolo County. And those are your top 10 headlines in just two minutes.